Hey guys, we're continuing our coverage of IDF 2013. I'm here at Dell's booth, surprisingly enough, with Chris here. How are you today, sir? I'm well, how's it going? I'm very good. Excellent. So I noticed that you have some eye tracking software hardware combination here, and I was really intrigued with that when I first came by. Uh, could you tell our view viewers a little bit about what you have here in store for us? Sure, so I work with the Dell OEM Solutions Group, and what we do is our customers come to us and they want to put their IP in market, and they don't want to make the investment <coughs> in the complexity of hardware. And so they come to us with some computing requirements and figure out how to help them do that, whether it's modifying Dell standard hardware or customizing something or, uh, in some cases, creating a product based on existing architecture. Wow. So they get the benefit of all of the testing that we do and all the global support, and it is optimized as a purpose-built system just to run their IP. Wow, that's great. So you're telling me anybody out there has some intellectual property they want it to go to the masses with, they can actually come to Dell and pretty much set up the whole operation start to finish. Right. Um, we, try, we tend to do a lot of stuff around servers and um, some of the uh, uh, workstations and stuff. We don't do a ton in the consumer market mm -hmm. just because there hasn't been an ask yet. Okay. Um, but we have a full set of engineers, um, technical people, and sales and global support. Great. All for so, my guess is then, so Toby came to you guys with their, their property and said, hey, let's make this happen. Yeah, they were trying to figure out how to get it to work on um, standard hardware for Dell and then the, the Intel architecture. Okay. And they had an a, uh, API that they had developed. And so we work with them, particularly around the Latitude 10 um, tablet to, fig to optimize their software to get it to work on the hardware. So uh, minimize or remove any of the functionality, um, software functionality in, that comes inherent in the standard product and optimize all of that capacity just to run the eye tracker. Okay, so uh, a high level explanation, what does Toby do, what's their technology, and how does it incorporate the eye tracking? So Toby, uh, the eye tracker software allows you to control all or part of a computer using your eyes. Your eyes alone? Your eyes alone. Wow. So um, at a very simple level, you can replace a mouse okay. with an eye. So it, uh, for people that are in a, an environment where they have repetitive stress um, challenges, if you imagine you're, you're monitoring um, a, a plant Mm -hmm. that's up and running, and you're looking at eight, 10, 12 different monitors, wow. and you need to perform a little function in one of each of those monitors. Eight hours of moving a mouse around starts to create a problem for your shoulders. Yeah, of course. This allows you to look and click and look and click and click. Um, if you are a somebody who is um, mobility impaired in some way, mm. it allows you a lot more freedom to operate a computer. We have a lot, of, they have a lot of quadriplegics that use it, and one of the things that they hear is that in addition to losing your mobility, you lose your privacy. So I can't make a phone call without someone helping me. I can't go on the web. So you always need someone else pretty much to interact. Someone's with you all the time. And then for a while they were homebound where you had to be wherever the computer was. Now um, we work with them to come up with the Toby Tracker that works with a bracket on a wheelchair with a Latitude 10. So anywhere that there's wireless, they can actually move around and still be connected to everybody. So they can go to the coffee shop and have a cup of coffee or go to the coffee shop and keep okay. in touch with their friends all over the planet as nice. opposed to being at home. So okay. pretty cool stuff. So I actually want to know, can we just do a quick demo for the sake of our viewers and kind of show sure. them how this works? Sure, we can show you what it is. Let's start over here. Okay. Um, we have it running on three different systems. Uh, this one is on Windows 8, just to show you how that works. Okay. Uh, this is Windows 7. It's all running on Intel architecture. We have it optimized on a latitude. And then we have a demo unit where they've actually integrated into a computer that's running in OS. Fantastic. So the difference between it, the, one of the advantages of Toby software is you don't have to build a program that's designed to be run with your eyes. The idea is to design the software to run programs. So uh, unlike the Wii where you buy a Wii game and that's all you can do with the Wii, right. this, um, the OS you can actually run all of it and they've created a, a bunch of shortcut keys so you don't have to use a mouse anymore and you can move through the system a lot more quickly as opposed to saying, well you can only open up Photoshop and do this. You can they made it so you can do to a bunch of different So pretty much programs. everything else. Yeah. Right, that's great. That's idea, okay, yeah. well, let's take a look at this. So this has we'll been this um, calibrated for me, um, and what it allows me to do, we've removed the mouse here, and uh, wherever I look, we're, it's just a game to, to pop the, the bubbles. So, so you're essentially looking, and it's popping whatever you're looking at right now. That's right. And it, I'm not sure if you can see this at home, but right here you can see that's actually monitoring his eyes, if I'm not mistaken, right? The two Correct. little dots right there? That's right. So it's saying, okay, your eyes are looking in this direction, that direction, but it actually has clear vision of your eyes right now. So if you were to walk too far backwards or, or right too here, close, so we'll step so back. Now it's gone. So now it's saying, hey, where'd you go? Uh, yeah. So obviously, in gaming, the gaming industry, um, this has become very popular, and it allows an additional set of functionality or 
the removal of some things that you have to do with your hands. Right. Um, so it frees up a hand to do something else. Okay. Um, and so there's a series of games where you can go in and um, it's very, you can get it very accurate. You would, the end user would optimize it one time. You go through and calibrate okay. based on your eyes, where you're standing, what you're doing. Um, and if you imagine when you set up your workstation at home, you get the monitor just the way you like it, you have the keyboard where you want it, you would do the same thing with the eye tracker. It's a, like a less than a minute to get it calibrated nice. for your eyes, and it can account for your head movement. Okay. So it, it, it's a, an infrared beam that basically uh, shoots the beam to you and then makes a map on the software of your eyes and where they are in relation to the rest of your head. Hmm. So as you're moving around, you're, you don't have to sit like you have a broken yeah, neck. You don't have to stay there yeah. in one position. So you can move around and it's able to continue with you, and then you look away to, to do something and come back. You don't have to start over. It, it knows who you are and, and where your, your eyes are. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, okay. pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So this one, um, we can walk through. This is, uh, if you want to complete, this is basically the, the um, calibration. Okay. And just so we're all clear, there's a lot of glare right here, but we should be able to get it. Uh, oh, yeah, it's having a hard time. Do you think maybe moving the... Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. There we go. I know when we tried this earlier, it wasn't as difficult, so I know that... Uh, yeah, the sun has been moving on us today. So the calibration, now you're looking at the top right, following it down to the bottom left, and there's a series of just red or orange dot that's essentially moving, telling you where to look, and then it's mapping pretty much as if you were to do the old school joystick calibration, right? Exactly. All the way at the top left, bottom exactly. left, getting a full range of motion, essentially. Right, so this, this uh, demonstration is, it is tracking my gaze wherever my eyes are going. Um, kids that have dyslexia, they're able to track the pattern of where their eyes are moving as they're trying to read, and mm -hmm. then they're able to overlay that graph with um, what a more natural uh, eye pattern movement would be. Yes. And it, that's one of the keys to why they're having trouble reading, believe it or oh, not. Oh, so maybe just help figure out what's causing it to be worse and maybe something that can rectify it. I noticed we kind of skipped over that one really quickly because we were talking about dyslexia, but you can also read something without actually having to move anything. So as you're, as you're reading down each line, it's moving down, right? As you're looking right. down. So you can scroll through things. Um, looking to the right, you're scrolling the one on the right. Looking to the left, you're scrolling the one on the left. Exactly. Okay. Um, this next one whoops, is a, um, you have a number of slides you want to look at. You look at the slide, let go, and that's the slide that comes up. As opposed to taking your mouse and navigating down to the slide and clicking the right. slide, you just look and Hold go. down the space bar, let go when you find the one you want. That's right. Okay. So um, this is a, a, a map um, implementation where you'd be able to, to navigate around a map and where you're looking, mm -hmm. um, it, it goes with you. Um, it requires my other hand, so we'll, okay. we'll go to the next one. <coughs> this allows you to um, accelerate the movement of the mouse, um, scroll through different programs so that you can choose which one you want by okay. looking at it. Almost um, like all tabbing? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then uh, this is a, an Asteroids game, and for those of you that are good at Asteroids, um, I'm not one of them. <laughs> so, uh, but the idea is basically from a gaming perspective. You're essentially looking at the Asteroids and hitting them. That's right. Now, I know that there's a, this is a score, and, and only because Kyle and I are semi-competitive, uh, him and I tried to play this game. I got a really high score, right? I got like a 56 or something. For and you said, that's amazing. No one's really ever done that. And then Kyle sat down, and what did Kyle get? Kyle got 116, and he <laughs> made sure I knew that number. And and so it was actually yesterday we were playing around with this. Um, has anybody come close to that yet? No, they haven't. And they're very upset to find out that they weren't the top one. <laughs> that's, so, that's fantastic. I don't think he's going to have any trouble in the hallway, but I know people are coming back today to, are they? Are to, they? to make yeah. sure that they get, take another run at it. Oh, that's awesome, Kyle. They, thank you for, for completely annihilating my score by, by, more, by a double, I think. That's right. right. 56. Yeah, geez, man. All right. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Chris. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate no it. No problem. No problem. And we wish you the best with uh, Toby Technology, and I really hope it, it, it helps other people out there, maybe quadriplegics or anybody else that really just needs a little something extra. And I'm sure there will be some other fun things that will come out of this as well. Yeah, so. absolutely. Fantastic. Right. Take care. All right, man. Thank you again. Stay tuned, guys, for some more stuff.